that man of styling gel that man of Lala's hairstyle that man that changed his name 75 times half dead Pete oh you oh, you are did you did it that's who you are I, I ah! under the jail well I think you should have been under the basement next to the toenail of Satan a long time ago that man there's just something that has always been off but I don't know which uh, Sangoma he goes to I don't know which people he pays because he always used to be die hard for nothing they would never catch him nothing would ever stick that was that was puff dead Nyan amugela unkuwa ya mi bomb. Aba ati ya di bomb. Aba kafu koko bomb. Aba ati bomb. Aba kasi. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please follow your sister. Now we typically don't cover stories from America unless they involve us. But because I feel like. The world has now become a global village and we've seen our very own black coffee rubbing shoulders with that one of styling gel we have played his music we know we know our aunts know our mothers know maybe even some of our family members had a crush i cannot believe they had a crush on a path daddy you know so this story is very interesting and it's all people are talking about right now so as you know as okay if you don't know Pav did is currently under the jail okay he has been indicted on some hectic charges okay from racketeering prostitution trafficking okay this man is playing in the traffic with human lives. Get it? Yo! 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 It's so much, you know? But I'm sitting here and thinking about damn time, okay? About damn time. Let me tell you, way, way, way long before Cassie came out with her lawsuit, which opened Pandora's box, okay? How many times has Puff Daddy been arrested, guys? How many times, how many cases, how many trials? And he's always the one that makes it out unscathed. He's always the one that baby oils his way out of situations. You remember when May his soul continued to rest in peace? Puff said P. Diddy set him up to get pew -pewed? I was like, what? And I was like, baby girl I was a young baby okay the speculations around the death of Biggie his bodyguards his bodyguards when him and J Lo were caught with a pew pew and then they threw the bodyguard under the bus it's been so many things it's been so many things and then it was his freak offs and those nasty parties that we were all craving, craving like ultra male on 25th December, craving them like choice assorted biscuits. Hmm? Can't a little did we know that? Those places, those places is where it goes down. Sana. When Cassie came out and said that was the most traumatic. Too much, too much to us. Relationship of her life. The things that man did to this girl. The things that happened. And things that happened in front of people. Sana. You know, there'd be people around Cassie and Didi at the time where he would do some crazy things. And it is alleged that Ursha, Ursha, was also in a room when one of these incidents went down, you know? And we all know that Udidi, 
um, took Asha under his wing when Asha was coming up. Let's not forget that there was a point in time where P. Diddy was an alleged legal guardian of U. Asha and Asha stayed with U. Diddy. I mean, and then Asha even went as far as going on an interview and telling us that yo, the things that he witnessed going down at Diddy's house and the things that were inappropriate for his age and his eyesight at the time. But did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were thirteen. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right, and, and I saw it, and it was, <laughs> and it was. But I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and say that. Okay, I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim. Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans, Josie, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> Wendy Williams has had this long standing beef with Udidi. Eventually, they did break it out, but Wendy Williams has always stood on her business when it came to Diddy. Remember when she told us that Diddy allegedly sent over a girl group to jump her? looking down at the sidewalk I mean noses were pressed to the glass and I get downstairs and find this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab to come after me to kick my ass and I'm like for what you know what I said was true you all are broken you were living in the projects and that was that but Then it was Cat Williams. I am telling you, ever since Cat Williams went on Shannon Sharp's podcast, life has never been the same for these celebrities, okay? Things are unraveling. Things are coming out. Pandora's box has been opened. Remember when Cat Williams said he has to protect his tutu from the tutu because they want to tutu him. I've had to turn down $50 million four times, four times, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about, <laughs> right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, freely. Kid, 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 I need, kid, I need to know what you hear. Sana, your baby has ashy skin right now because Didi did it, bought all the baby oil. What are you doing with so much baby oil? If you are not hmm, making it smoothly like a yogurt, okay? And then there was that one video with the most insane allegations, okay? This James was like, I seen, I heard Mick, Meal, and Didi doing the Vinky Vongo private part collaborations. And the people have been accusing Mick Meal of being too happy around Didi and Didi being too happy around Mick Meal. And this James was like, hmm. What my ears heard, I took out my phone and I had to record, okay? And they say that when it comes to people's drinks being played with and tempered with, Udidi has a PhD, son. He has a PhD in that. Yo, when are you going to rot under the jail? And you know what is bad? Because and that one of Shugela, Shug Knight, has always said, Hore, you, you did and then the the, the the people that Didi has like put in jail, no, like literally put in jail because he would make them catch the case and he would catch the freeway. They be there. They be in there, okay? Do you not think maybe they're like, it's about damn time? And welcome their new colleagues in Orange. Pela Udidi is going to be their 
new colleague in Orange. I cannot believe that the fall of a man's dynasty is only but last. You know, if Didi was not laster and kept his voice, kept your sausage uncooked at that to yourself, you know, you would have built such an amazing legacy because you have built up so many people. You have done so many amazing things, you know, shady stuff, shady, shady stuff. I remember you were throwing a benefit concert, oh yeah, and you said you're going to give money to the HIV victims. You are going to do this, no, not a concert, sorry, a basket, charity basketball game. But you packed that place up beyond capacity. Even when they told you, this place is way too packed. He said, keep putting people in there. We need as much money as possible. People got injured, people got hurt. Oh yeah, and the foundation said, there were no monetary um, agreements from Puff Daddy to our charity and he did not even take blame when all of that went down. He did not even take blame. Oh yeah? Instead, Bakri, he was the most unremorseful person he had ever seen. But you can even see it in his eyes. You can even see in that video where he did the things that he was doing to Cassie in the hotel lobby and he was caught on camera. He was like, I was such a low, poor, I was at such a low, poor. shut up, Sh shut up. You've always been at the low point of your whole life because of the nonsense that you've been doing. You're only sorry that you are getting caught and you are catching cases. Now the thing is, the thing is, I know Didi will not want to go down by himself. And the people that he's been surrounding himself with during his escapades. Now those are the people that should be worried. <coughs> Jay-Z, 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 Jay-Z. Now those people should be worried because if I'm catching cases, uh, you are catching them with me. Snitches get stitches. I, I'd rather be stitched up. Oh yes, you are definitely coming down with me, Maria. Okay, Chantal, we are going down together, my love. What? Oh, Didi, Didi, did it. Seven hundred and forty-two. One thousand bottles of baby oil. Riff Riff Frick Offs And we must be sorry for you Ha Shem Soze We are in South Africa watching this case like Make me sweat Make me harder Make me lose my breath Make me harder We'd rather be uppity Africans Than It's too much Six match. In fact, it's ten match. Ciao! Oh.